Now with some medical perspective on what Congressman Scalise may be battling as he recovers in the hospital is Dr. Jerry Satanovich. In addition to being coroner, Dr. Satanovich also has extensive experience as an emergency room physician, and that's why we asked you to wear that hat while you're joining us today. I guess we're all wondering, one minute after the surgery, it looks like everything is going well, and then all of a sudden there's an alert that he's in critical condition. What, what happened? What do you think well, might have happened? It's uh, not uncommon at all for somebody who has a high-velocity injury whether it's a gunshot or a fall to their hip and pelvic area uh, to have some complications, uh, the most common of which with a gunshot would be bleeding, whether it's the superficial femoral artery, the femoral artery itself, or did a bullet hit a bone, whether it's the hip bone or more likely the pelvic bone. Those bones can bleed a lot, and mm. that can certainly uh, you know, uh, cause you know, some delayed uh, 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 problems. But m it's not uncommon at all. I would have been shocked had he not been put in the ICU, you know, given the injury that was described, you know, in the media. Well, and how important was the quick response of those Capitol Police who were there and then the first responders? I mean, it sounds like the congressman was shot and then was there on the baseball field for a while. Um, is this the kind of thing that the quick response saved his life? I, I you know, not knowing the actual, you know, uh, you know mechanism, pardon not knowing exactly what the gunshot went through, I, I can't tell you for sure, but that short time, you know, you know, the faster you get to help, the better. The faster they get an IV into you to get fluids into you, the faster they get to the hospital to where they can do assessments of what's going on. He went to a level one trauma center, you know, which mm -hmm. you know, uh, is the right place to go when you have a critical life-threatening injury. So, you know, in regards to his injury, everything worked perfectly. You know, first, the situation was stabilized by the you know, Capitol Police and the Alexandria Police. Then EMS came in here, and they literally, they, they, they scooped him and went. They had a helicopter there waiting, so everything went after the, you know, after the, the, the shooting, everything went as well as it could go to give him the best chance of survival. And you said given his injury, you would have been surprised if he hadn't been placed in the ICU and in critical care. So for perspective, how, how concerned should, should people be? We don't want to diminish the injuries, but we also don't want to make it look like he's in worse shape than he might be. Well, yeah, and look, I've heard what everybody else has heard, which is that he has an injury to the hip. So is it to the hip going out the front, or is it on the side of the hip going through the pelvis? So you, know, you can have a lot of different injuries. You know, it, could hit a, you know, it could hit the pelvic bone and a bullet could go north. So okay. you don't know, okay. you know what happened. It's unlikely, but certainly it's a possibility. So there's a lot of possibilities of what could have happened um, you know, with it. But just to, I don't think that you just assume that it's the hip, that it's only a soft tissue injury, because gotcha. it, it may not be. Hmm. Well, given the unknowns in this case, what kind of process would you expect to come next? Hard to tell, not knowing the uh, the actual you know, what his injuries are. Okay, and you're expecting you would expect the hospital because you did work at a major hospital for many years. Um, you would expect that the hospital will come forward soon with some sort of an update, given the change in his condition from sta stable to uh, critical. Sure, but I think the you know, first that is going to be a uh, decision that's going to be approved by his wife and him mm -hmm. before they release that information. Speaking of that, your your family is friends with their family. How? Um, and your brother Tommy is, is very and good friends with him. We've been great friends with him. Uh, matter of fact, I think, I don't know for sure it was his first, but if it's not his first, it was his second political fundraiser when he ran for state representative was in our restaurant. Has Tommy spoken with Jennifer? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, okay. I know they've communicated back and forth, but have they spoken or not? I, I don't know. Gotcha. Everybody's just so shocked. I know your family is as well. Yeah, look, wishing and hoping and praying for the best for him. I'm sure he's a do-good. He's a tough guy. All right, mm -hmm. Dr. Satanovich, thank you very much. More coverage of the